going to discuss about array. So, our, our, our content flow is this one. Oh, what is arrays, how to declare arrays, and how to access the arrays. Okay. And what do you mean by arrays? So if you say arrays, it is a collection of multiple values in a single variable with the same data type. They are governed by using an index. Um, if magdeklare ito ang mga values, same na sila ang variable. Kung, uh, kung ato sila output without arrays, allowed man, pero medyo mukaw siya gamay kayo. Okay, balik ka mga this, but if binding ka po oh, values akong nanahang in count, di ba? So, for example, I will create I will create new project Okay So, create name class Okay So, if di ka mag-array then galanta mo display of uh, values nga the same as law data type For example, string Sorry Same sila o variable string with the same values in a single variable with the same data type. So, for example, this one. Pero parehas silang strings and they are governed by using an index. Now, what is the element? So, it is the individual values in an array. So, kanang sulod sa array, tawag niya is elements. Okay. So, kanang mga values na naasulod sa array, kinatawag na siya o elements. Now, so how to declare an array? So here, we have two ways. The first one is we can declare it by using the values. Another one is we can declare it by without using the values. So let's try this one out. So we have here the data type, the identifier. Then we have to use this um, bracket, this one, to I to identify na uh, array atong gamit. So, so if you can my array sa Java, dapat naman ikaw. Dapat na yung bracket para ma-identify niya. Is equals to curly bracket, then value 1, value 2, value 3, and value 4. If you want more, then just put comma and then put ang harag ang other value. But if siya ang pinakalas, so please do not put comma here. Kaya mag-error dyan na siya. Okay, so muna yung mga sila sa'yo. Sa mga sasyante. So we have here the actual example. So data type, which is the string, and then identifier, which is the names. Then this one, bracket, is equals to the value of 1, 2, 3. Three and four. So, we jump them in So, let's try this one. So, So, the data type is string and then identifier. And then, bracket is equals to curly bracket. Semicolon. And then, some mga value niya. So that's how we declare an array with value. So if we do actually we do the numbers, so ang atong bahaton integer integer numbers then bracket 
Because if I slow it, it will be broken. So one, two, three, four, five. So we call an error that one. So pretty sure numbers. And then declare without value. So here, data type, yung identifier, and then bracket, equals to new data type. And it says, so kani siya, ga-instantiate ni kaning apart. So remember with your scanner, di ba? Naman to yung scanner, sabi na. So, kato, it's isa ko instantiate. Um, now, we cannot, uh, we will, may anak ko, previous video, at isa na kayo mag-pagsusod siya ng instantiating. Pero, kung mag-OOP na ganita, say, OOP, object-oriented programming, um, next subject, ano is, tapos mo dito about instantiating. You can, uh, you can discuss more about instantiation dito. Okay. So, this is the syntax for declaring without values. So, the actual example is we have string, then you say, identify your name. Um, so, names, and then bracket, to identify na arisha is equals to new, and then the data type of string, and then this is the size. Okay, the size. So, if every string there is, string pala yung dere. Kung integer ni, integer ni dere. Okay. And then, if boolean, then boolean dere. So, let's try. I want to put, okay. So, um, for example, string. Is equals to new string. Okay, the string manta. And then, um, four. Okay. And then, string names. So, oh yes. My job. So this is how we declare a string na na i r ang awalay value, and this one is string na na i value. Okay. So next is we have index. So what is an index? So it's a number that represents a position in a collection. So may mga kalibog ani sa kasi index na siya o position sa usaka collection sa array. For example, kani di ba we have dream na jo fam ian and jo Nish nila, nani sila ay indexes. So, ang, ang pag-ihap ay nasa indexes is hindi pwede ko 1. Example na, hindi pwede ko 1, 2, 3. So, let's start with 0 sa array ha. So, I hope naka-discuss na ninyo sa inyong intro. Uh, intro to computing, maybe, basta na ba. And then, 1, and then 2, and 3. So, these are the indexes. So, always just down and start of 0. Hindi ko 1. So, this is the size of our value. Okay, it's the real size. Index na siya. May ang size. If you say size, example, kanin dream job, and ayan, so, pinakabok value 4. 4 values. Muna siya ay size. Pero, yung indexes is, what? 3. Go to, it's because na ay 0. So, to get the indexes, size of the value, minus 1. So, if pulo ang value, then minus 1. So, which means 9. Kabuo. 9 iya ho index test. It's because, yan index. It's because, we start na to siya of 0. So, accessing array, I have here an example. For example, the value is this one. 1, 2, 3, 5. So, money ang value, money ang size niya. So, since lima man siya, so what I have said, to find the, the index. So, 5, my, I, yes, the size, minus 1. So, 5 money, 5 minus 1. So, 5 minus 1 plus 4. So, 4, up to 4 yung index is because that's nag start taong 0. You say array, start to drop always. Ang um, index na is always nag start of 0. Okay? Hindi rin na nag start of 1. <coughs> that's why. <coughs> so, how to access arrays? Okay. Kung saan na to pag read ang mga arrays nga ito, hindi na putang array. So, okay, comment pa rin siya. Um, um, if ganan pa mo comment, so sa ka syntax, just, let's just put double slash, let's just put double slash. Para pag run, comment pa siya, you know what is comment, di ba? Pero here, comment mo rin, note lang ba? Para kahit kung di na to siya buta ng slash, mag-error mo siya. So, if ganan ka nga, <coughs> reminder lang, mo siya, comment to last note, or comment sa mong code, just put slash, pero single line lang siya ha. But if you want a multiple line na comment, so same ane. Dapat. Hindi po na. Yung anak mo niya ang multiple na comment line. Like, yung i-comment ang daghang lines. Pero kanil single lang siya nga line. That's where comment is. It's just kind of. 
continuous. So to read array element, this one, um, the name of the identifier, then on sayang index. So this is our practical practical example. So names and then zero. Okay. For example, add so, names and then they put zero. Okay, so it's a my zero there. So which means it dream. And the si dream iya home. Dream iya home, maran. Eh, yung hatag iya ta na output. So, if we're going to run this, I look at si dream. Then, for example, three. Only run. Si jo, zero, one, two. Okay, si jo ang ikati mga index. Okay, pressure. So, same for there. But I have an answer. Um, for example, so, atong i kwan ang name sa. Identify your which is what numbers and then a home index say two. These are my two, the lock. These are my two. So which means it's a three. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four. So I got two, okay, it's a three. If I don't need a run, it's a three. We didn't have to make a little bit of plus stuff. Plus numbers. So which means iyan ki add ang index na ang index nga two o index na zero iyan ki add. Kisa may zero si one, ba? Kisa may two si three. So three plus one equals four. Ato niya dan is four. Dan, okay? Yeah, sure. Now how to assign array element? Like you're going to change, but if I just change, change. Hmm. So, okay. For example, uh, this one down na. Um, so to assign, we have to put the identifier name. So malaki identifier dere, iba names. So I have to put names, and then uh, open and close. It's equals to example zero for now. It's equals to May. Ano? So it's equals to May. So this one. So if after a run, dayon si zero ako iyan. So may tabo ang unang yung iyan is one number three which is zero, and then ang iya hong so na is zero. Insa man tungo unang hazard si dream di ba? But you change it into me, so ma override niya ni. If after a run, right click, and imo siyang si me. Mo may updated na nakasay. But if ever magaling kaya tas ilalang. Oh, sorry. But if go, three, cause three na ako sa ilan na ako sa ibang tao. So one, then one print ko dere. Zero. Sampal kani na mula zero. So since from top to bottom man siya dito, top to bottom. So unang yung output si dream. Nagi change na tao niya o ang name niya ng alme. Ay mo na po siya ng name. So we get to run ng si dream ng alme. Okay, so that's assign element. Now, okay, so that's how you do it. Now, um, for Hansel number one, we have two challenge, two challenge. So basically, you know, basun. So first one is you know, for one point one, make an array of that is two. Then so probably the name of your classmates and access the value of your arrays. Okay, so if you're done, just raise your hand and ask your teacher. For one point two. If you're done with 1.1, 1 .1, then proceed to 1.2. Change at least five values of your array using assigning array element. Okay, so that's all for today. Good luck, guys.